What's up, guys? Today we have our first special guest on the podcast. What's Give up, guys? Welcome to Big Nick. I feel so warm, dude. Especially, you know, I'm a fan. Really? So I saw Sam's video, his last, well, two podcasts ago. And um, I was like, this seems like something really cool I want to be a part of because not a lot of people can share their opinions online. Mostly people that have to do comedy to succeed. And this is not my haircut. I'm just wearing it down like this because Colby got my hair soaked. All right, but anyway, we're going to be touching on a pretty crazy topic today. Uh, basically, neither of us went to college. And we want to talk about why we didn't go to college and our opinions on really the whole education system itself because there's a lot of things wrong with it, right? Yes, well, actually, I did go to college to okay. see what it was all about. You, you went for, what? One day. One day? One day. I applied to every college. I did all the essays. I did the test scores. I did everything to make sure that I was capable of going to college, that I had the potential to. Yeah. But in reality, I gave it a chance I never wanted to go again. So, I walked out of the day really down. Well, what made it so bad? Well, Vine has been dying for a year now. It officially shut down a couple days ago. But when Vine was dying, that was my biggest platform. That's all I had, right? Yeah. So I was like, I'm going to continue to do social media, but if Vine keeps going this way, I'm going to try and get an education too. I was under that impression. I never wanted to go to college, though. I just thought it wouldn't be as awful. I mean... I feel like, at least in my opinion, uh, this might be uh, the way you were raised too, everyone forces basically every, everyone to go to college. Yeah. Like from, from the second you start from kindergarten, they're like, all right, so where are you going to go to college? Like exactly. It's a mandatory thing. Like, you have no, it's like you have no other choice. They are giving you no other out. That's actually one of the points I wrote down, if you want me to touch on that now. I have this all in my notes, by the way, because I have ADD, so I'm going to forget my points really <laughs> fast. So basically, one of my points here is that it's become a societal norm rather than a personal choice. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. oh, you didn't go to college, so you're not smart. You didn't go to college, you can't get this job. Like, there are plenty of people who haven't gone to college and they're millionaires. Yeah, some of the most successful people in the entire world have either not gone to college at all or dropped out. Yeah, so. pretty much. And, you know, in the beginning, they're labeled college dropout, like failure, until they succeed. But no one wants to give them the benefit of the doubt when they're not succeeding. No one wants to say this guy will succeed even though he dropped out. People are very critical and very harsh on people who don't want to go to college. I, I think that's what a lot of people don't realize is it's not for everyone. It's uh, not. We're, we're saying here today that like college, there is a purpose for it. There's an awesome purpose for it. There's education and a lot of people go that route and a lot of people succeed that route. Yeah. But what we're trying to say is just because of the societal norm and that everybody is quote unquote supposed to do it doesn't mean that's right. Like yeah. You can, you can be successful. You, you, well, both of us live on our own out like hundreds of miles or for me thousands of miles from my parents. Yeah completely fine and successful without going to college. Yeah, 100 percent. I mean, that's basically what we have done now. I, if you want me to tell my story on kind of how I was came to realize that not being in college was a good choice, I'd love to share yeah, that. Yeah. So back then, if May to June, uh, I was at the point in my career where I was falling off, right? I was my biggest platform. None of my other social medias were prospering, right? I decided to go to college because I was like, what other choice do I have? You know, if I completely fall off the face of the earth, I stuck with nothing now, i'm not saying it was my alternative choice like if i completely fell off on social media college would definitely not be my first choice but i never got to that point so i'm glad for that i went to college it was in uh september i went for a day I, keep in mind i attended all the seminars at that college sat in like eight hour long speeches just to make sure i was getting ready to go to college because i was like i could be wrong about it i was not wrong so i'm in class right and the professor is trying to get to know the kids better and uh he's like give me some of the three main reasons why you're here and after i heard these three reasons i felt so distraught and i was like i do not belong here you ever are in a setting where you don't belong somewhere and it physically like kind of like hurts you yeah you know I mean, definitely if you were meant to be there it wasn't meant to be honestly that's where i come from i i thought to myself when i was on the way just like you to, to applying to colleges i had gotten accepted in college i was ready to go and when it came down to it i thought about it and i was like what do i want to do with my life yeah and is going to college the thing that i want to do and i sat there and i was like i have this one opportunity and i want to do it right now that's very true and you only have one opportunity you go to college for four years and it's out the door yeah like if i would have gone to college everything that i have created right now you wouldn't today, have this podcast you wouldn't be watching this if you went to college yeah none of you guys would have seen any of that that's just because not saying i will never go to college i'm just saying i'll never the the norm 
of like needing to go to college as soon as you do like as soon as you graduate from high school is something that doesn't really make sense to me yeah like how do you even know what you want to do with your life that's what i'm saying and like this is not one of the points i wrote down but people go to college right as an undecided major so you're paying all this money for all this education you don't even know what you want to do yet you're sitting in a I know this sounds extreme, but you are rotting in a classroom. Your creative process is rotting if you don't know what you're going to college for. Uh, because you are paying all this tuition. And keep in mind, like, a lot of kids suffer from, like, major, uh, uh, you know, school loans. Student loans. I mean, that's honestly what puts a lot of stress on a student. I don't know, just, I don't think it's the right system for me. I'm not saying it's the right, it's not the right system for you, but I will never go to college again. What doesn't make sense to me is the fact that comparatively to all my friends have a four year start on my yeah. business yeah i know what i'm gonna do exactly because i went and ventured and i'm not hundreds of thousands of dollars in debt you are ahead of the race essentially yeah going back to the point so when i was in the class and the professor asked the three main reasons why you're here the results were horrifying the first one was so i don't have to pay minimum wage the second one was because my parents want me to go and the third one was i don't know i kid you not this kid said i don't know he was in our class responding the teacher and he didn't know why he was in college and i'm thinking to myself this is not my place keep in mind this is when i was falling off on social media right so like i thought i had nowhere else to go but i was like screw it i'm gonna take a gamble in my career i'm going to drop out of college and focus on uh, essentially youtube and in the past couple of six months i had more success on this platform than i have on anything yeah. it was a whole different experience because i was on the grind i was hustling you know what i'm saying like this apartment complex we live in the same com for now we live in the same complex um and it's very expensive so keep in mind i had to be making money and it's hard to make money when you're falling off on social media it was funny actually the day i dropped out of college is the day i first had a little hint of success on my channel i remember that yeah i, I remember like one of your videos blowing up and that just like as a key to you man like, yep i think that was a good decision yeah i think i've told you that before too right yeah yeah like it was it was almost like i definitely believe in signs and i feel like it was definitely a sign that i don't belong there because the next week after i dropped out of college that video got a million views right and keep in mind i had a 100k channel the video posted after that got two million right so it's like two videos in a row like the week you drop out of college just start blowing up and your channel's doing great like and i'm thinking to myself i could go far with this so i just kept creating i kept stepping out of my comfort zone to make videos and um now i'm at this point now where i can successfully say that uh i'm really proud of myself and proud of yeah. what i've done I, I think that like goes to show a good point um your whole your whole undecided thing or the i don't know no part that's the biggest reason i kind of disagree with everyone needs to go to college like yeah. i said i think getting an education or learning in general is awesome yeah but going for no point or not knowing what you're gonna do is basically the reason why college to most people at the beginning is pointless like i said these opportunities you know to figure out who what you want to do with your life they're hard to come by you know? yeah <laughs> yeah and going to college undecided and when most people even when they do decide change mm -hmm. their major yeah just like and this is terms. like this is definitely not like um any disrespect towards anyone who's in college and undecided but this is more of a kind of like a point of advice you are being scammed by uh society if you're going to college undecided you are paying at least 30 grand a year to benefit from education that you don't even know if you're gonna use in the future. And another thing I wanna bring up the uh, money aspect. My dad, he went to college, right? My dad's a very successful uh, doctor. He works in healthcare now. He's been um, in college for a long time, right? Yeah, uh, he went to medical school, so he was in it for about eight years, same with my mom. They are success cases, right? Not everyone is going to be a success case. And um, my dad told me, after eight years of medical school, the money he was making at 35 was the money that I made in a couple months this year when I was grinding on social media. It's not about the money, but it's about how you view things, and I'm using my potential at 18 as much as my dad was financially at 35. Again, it's not all about the money. Like, don't do social media for money do it because you want to create content that you love because uh, i've definitely had my highs and lows in terms of income on this journey but this year and the end of 2016 was my highest like ever i've ever made and it's still going and it's all because i took a chance in my career uh and in my mental health if i turned out to be a complete failure by 2017 nowhere on social media i'd be 
deeply ashamed of myself. Even there, let's take that for example. What my main thing is, the whole undecided factor is like you don't know what the heck you're gonna do when you're 18 years old and or at least most people don't. Yeah. And so let's say that you did take a chance. Or right, right now, I'm taking a chance coming out here. Take not chances Tuesday. Hashtag Kobe Brack. Hell yeah. Uh, if this thing failed miserably and I didn't have anything, I can always go back to college. Exactly. So like, le let's say, yeah, like you, well, both of us dry up and fail miserably in 2017. Which is 100% not happening, not but it's happening, a good you know thing. <laughs> yeah. Ever. But we can go back. It's like, take yeah. the opportunities. Education take is forever what we're doing now is not in social media if you stop creating for at least a month you are completely nothing and going back to that education is not only in the form of college i swear yes. to you i have learned more in this year about business and how to how to run basically personal finance and yeah. everything than i have ever in all my high school courses or anything like that teaching oh, yeah. yourself reading books going online, making life project stuff. Yeah. I've learned so much more outside the classroom than I have inside. That's just me, that's just how I learn. Yeah, but once again, let's do keep in mind that um, you know us having the option to go to college or run a business, it's not the same for the average viewer. The viewer right now, probably maybe going to college, maybe not even there yet, um, I mean, I'm pretty sure, like, not everyone has established a business before they have the other option to go to yeah, college. So, what would be your suggestion for them? For My those suggestion people that don't really know, but they don't also have the option that we were given. Yeah, if you don't know why you're going to college, or you're going to college because you're being told to, my best advice for you is don't do that. Yeah, you could create something so amazing out of the talents that you have. Just imagine all the people who didn't use their full potential because they wasted four years in college undecided. Those people could have started a tech business. Those people could have been a manager of a sports league team. There's so much opportunity when you're not wasting four years. Four years is a long time. Mm -hmm. And you don't have to waste it. Like uh, I think the point is what we're trying to say is going into undecided is the way that you waste it. So yeah, if you are undecided, if you don't know what you're doing, and the only reason why you're going to college is because your parents or society is telling you to then take a step back maybe take a gap year like go figure out what you want to do with gap years are really important even if i didn't do this whole thing i was definitely going to take a gap year yeah same here you just figure out your life like i said you don't nobody really knows what they want to do for the rest of their life at 18 years old like yeah. how could you possibly know what would you do for the next 60 years of your life like, it's crazy. that's very true but also i feel like people who also go to college and are not undecided. Some of them are wasting their time because there's no surefire job option once you get out of college. People are under the myth that once you graduate from college, you have a job mm -hmm. and it's there. More relevant than ever right now, people that are graduating with degrees are not getting jobs. Yeah, I mean, I I have a friend who's uh, who went to Harvard, right? Studied law school there and he can't get a job at all. That's insane. He goes to Harvard, right? And um, he graduated from Harvard, he couldn't get a job and it's like people are under, People are under this notion that you have a successful opportunity to get a job, when in reality, you could have been doing it all for nothing. And then it's not even about getting the job. If you get the job and you're fired and can't get another job again, then you wasted four years in college. Not even four years, some people go for eight. It's not. It's definitely not a surefire way, especially if you don't know where you're headed. If you have a plan, then go for it. If yeah, definitely. Plan, then figure that out before you go and spend hundreds of thousands of dollars. Real quick disclaimer, this is literally just our opinion. Yeah. So like we said, do not take anything like verbatim or law. Like we know that college is for some people and college is not for other people. That's the argument we're trying to make. Education yeah. in itself is awesome. The way that you educate yourself is different yeah. for some people, which is what we're talking about today. It might come off as if we are like telling you what to do only because we have the same view on this. But um, at the end of the day, if you are going to college and you know what you want to do and you succeed because of that, then good for you. And I'm really proud of you. We're trying to say that just because college is a societal norm doesn't mean it has to be part of your path. Sweet. Well, anything else to add, Liza? <laughs> Yeah, tweet me at David Dobrik. Everyone, go make sure to check out Big Nick's channel. Thank you for being the first special guest on our podcast. Of course, it's Hopefully. been an honor. A lot of social media people don't have the room to talk about this. They can't make a video and tell you like why they think college isn't an option because in this day and age, people follow for comedy or looks. If you don't have comedy or looks, hey, people today don't. Today we gave them looks and, and knowledge. 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 knowledge.
knowledge. If you have any podcast suggestions, comment them below, and we'll see you next time. See you next time, guys. Peace. the science go. Knowledge.